Couldn't think of a better way to end a day like this than double fisting. We're showing you four crazy delicious burgers, all under five bucks each. Four each under five prunes, bones, dinero. You know, you could have three other people over and make each one a different one if you wanted, or you could make all the same. It doesn't matter. The point is, you're feeding four people burgers for 20 bucks? Come on. Come on. Who does this for you? Oh, yeah, that does his him. What makes us even better, and I didn't have to do this, but what makes us even better is we're starting with our own brioche buns. We're gonna make our own buns. And am I a baker? Nope. Will they come out okay? I certainly hope so because I got no plan B right now. Let's get the mixer, let's get the flour, get the yeast, and away we go. In the bowl of our stand mixer, we put a tablespoon of fast acting yeast two tablespoons of sugar, and a cup of warm water with a quarter cup of warm milk. And warm is somewhere between 110 and 120 degrees. We give that a little stir, and we wait five, six minutes until it gets foamy on top. That means the yeast is working. At this point, I'll add a beaten egg. In you go, little guy. A teaspoon and a half of salt. We put it down, lock it in place, and we'll let it go. We want all this to mix now. So give this just a couple minutes to combine. We stop it, we get rid of the paddle, we put on the hook, down we go, we get it going, and we start introducing three and a half cups of flour, a little bit at a time. Now we'll put in a couple tablespoons of soft butter and leave this alone for, you know, eight, nine minutes until it's smooth and soft. And when it's done, put it on a lightly floured surface like that, give it a tiny bit more flour over the top, and this we just want to knead for a couple of minutes to make sure it's smooth. It's lovely smooth. And when it is, get your guy into a beautiful ball. This we want to turn into eight smaller little balls. So we'll do this. We'll cut in half first, and then each of these into four. And with a little more flour on the deck, we'll roll each into its own beautiful, perfect little ball and put them on a parchment-lined baking sheet or one with a sill pat, preferably with my face on it. These guys we're going to cover with a clean kitchen towel, put inside where it's not cold, but not boiling. Leave them for 15 minutes, then we carry on. And at the end of resting, here's what we've got. Oh, look at our little fellows. They grew a little bit. Aren't you cute? All right, they get one thing before they go in the oven. This is an egg beaten with uh, about a tablespoon of milk. Well, I didn't have milk, so it's technically it's cream, but it's going to only make it better. And now we brush everybody all the way around. And if you want, and only if you want, this is the time to put some seeds on top or whatever you want. For example, this is everything bagel seasoning. Not a bad idea. How about we do two of those? How about we do some sesame seeds on these guys? We'll leave a couple plain. And these guys here on the end, they'll get a little bit of the basic sesame seed. And then we'll complete with some black, just for some prettiness. I'm always thinking about Max's pictures. Oven's at 400. These guys are ready. And they go for, I'd say, 17 to 19 minutes until they're brown and beautiful. Start with a couple things that are going to go on or in our burgers. So a little olive oil in both. And this first one will get some sliced yellow onion. I haven't even said what I'm making yet. Should I say or no? This one is going to get some diced red pepper. Okay, I'll turn over all the cards and I'll tell you that this one is going for a French onion burger. This one is gonna be for a pesto mozzarella burger with a red pepper mayo. Nice. And when the burgers are all made and built and beautiful and you're looking at them, we'll show you the prices of what these all cost. Meanwhile, we'll get started with some jalapenos. Into this bowl go some sliced jalapenos. We don't need too many, we're just making one burger, but I want a couple extra just for eating. So in they go, if you get a little bit of juice in there like that, all good. We're gonna add one other thing. That would be some buttermilk. And this will just sit 10 minutes or so till we need them. We move on. One of the burgers is a breakfast one. We're gonna make ourselves a little hash brown. We have a potato, we'll cut the ends, we'll peel it quickly. I won't need all of it because it's just for one. That's okay. And now we'll shred our friend into this water. Could've used a bigger bowl, made my life easier. But nope, I don't like to make my life easy. I like to make it difficult. As in as difficult as possible. You got about a half a potato in there. Let the starch come out. We'll make a sauce. The sauce for our French onion 
burger will consist of some sour cream, a little hit of mayo, and some French onion soup. But just a little, because some of it is going inside the patty itself. And you get the crunchy bits from these dried onions that are in here. Next, that is a little bowl. This is for the pesto mozzarella, mayo, smoked paprika. Remember these guys? They're gorgeous. These go in. And mix. A little pinch of salt. You know how good that is gonna be? Oh, I'll tell you, it's gonna be good. Think we can make some patties. That is ground beef. That's a little scale. Let's make these, uh, what do we want, quarter pounders? That'll be four ounces. That should look like 3.84, I was so close. So we need two, so we'll make one more. Next we'll make a sausage and a chicken one. Four pork breakfast links that don't have a casing on them. These are about four ounces. They just need to be mushed and a little patty made. Very simple. We'll flatten that when it goes on. And now the chicken. We've talked about it before, how a chicken thigh is one of my favorite insides for a patty. So here's what we're gonna do. This guy is a third of a pound, leaving the fat on because there's a good fat to regular chicken ratio that will help. I'm gonna chop this up one direction, change directions, cut it again, and then give it a good chop so we end up with what essentially is a ground chicken thigh. Gather it up, and on you go. I'm gonna make a hash brown now. Remember this? My potato that I've squeezed most of the water out of, but I can't do it completely with my hands, and we don't want them wet. So inside of a towel it goes, and watch, get what's left. Oh, I did a very good job. Mm, not much. Get a burner. That pan is dirty because the onions were in it that will add extra flavor. And in goes a little hit of oil and some butter. And when they melt, in goes the potato, like now. Let's just press this kid down. We want one nice flat little potato pancake for our breakfast one. Looking good, bud, looking good. Now over the next few minutes, this guy is gonna cook and get beautifully crispy on that bottom side. And when he does, we'll flip him over. But right now we'll just start with a little BFF on the top and say, see ya, we're coming back to you. Remember this? This is my new cookbook. Sam the Cookie and the Holy Grill that comes out March the 12th. You know what's in it? Things like this. Look at that. One damn fine smoked burger. How beautiful is that? There's tons of other stuff. Smoking, grilling, the whole outside thing, you're gonna love it. But get ready for this. Barnes & Noble is offering a discount. The book's not even out yet. Barnes & Noble is offering a pre-order discount on this book to their members, 25% off, 25% off for basic members and the premium members get another 10% off as long as you do it between today and Friday. That's January 24th to 26th. All you have to do, the, the link is below. Click the link below and use the discount code pre-order 25. 25% off this. It hurts my feelings of giving away my book so cheap before it even comes out, but I love them. The link is below. Barnes & Noble members, 25% off basic, 25% off plus another 10% off for premium members between today the 24th and Friday the 26th. Get in there and do it, would you? Why pay more if you don't have to? It's bacon time for the French onion dip burger. And while that's there, let's prep our patty. So you remember one of these guys, right? Here's what we're gonna give it. Just a little hit of this French onion soup package mix. Oh boy, this is making me happy. We'll give this a little pat down when it goes on the grill. This is ready, the bacon's getting ready, our little sauce is ready. You haven't seen the buns. Why don't you let me get those and we can see what we're dealing with. But before I show you, let's flip this kid. Crispy, amazing, that's what you want. That's everything you want. All right, that'll go off to the side, that will finish. And now the buns, wait for them. There we go. We did all right, kids, we did all right. So Max, the first one we're gonna make is this French onion one. I'm going that guy. I'm going the everything bagel because there's onion in this. Oh, that's a beaut. That is a beaut, all right. Let's flip our bacon. That's perfect. Boy, nothing wrong with bacon, is there? A the little French onion guy gets a little oil and a smash. But not too big of a smash. We're not going flat, flat. We're going like that. All right, we're about to flip it, but I want to give it one thing. Some fresh ground pepper. There's enough salt in that French onion soup mix that if you add salt now, you're just going to kill yourself. And we go. Sacre bleu. I love a crust. You always get a crust on a smash burger, not always on this kind. That's why I like a flat top for this. It's perfect. But while we're waiting, let's get our bun a little toasty. There's a top and a bottom and butter always helps. And here's our guy looking beautiful, and they will not take long. Let's throw some cheese on top of our little patty. And French onion would require Swiss cheese on top, and that is what I'm using. To help our cheesy boy melt, 
put a little water in our hat. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is ready to come off and get built. First on, the French onion soup mix stuff. Because, please, why did I say please? Next comes our patty. Oh, gorgeous. Then our bacon. Remember our caramelized onions? I hope you do, because they remember you. And the top of our very own homemade brioche bun. Thank you very much. Uh, I guess I gotta have a bite. I mean, I don't want to. Bullshit, I do. Uh, here. Yeah, medium rare. Mm. When I thought about this, I thought, there's a chance it could be onion overwhelming, and it's not. It's a great amount in the patty itself, the sauce, and then the onions and the bacon just, it just happens, it just comes together. Oh my God. All right, one more bite, and we're moving on to the chicken, because you're gonna like that one. Time for chicken, but before we get it on the flat top, we're gonna season it a bit. Little smoked paprika, a little bit of cumin, or garlic powder, little BFF, and then just mix together nicely, ball it up. We'll put it on in a second. Just let me prep the jalapenos first. That is flour, that is cornstarch, and we mix them. Here's the jalapenos. They've been soaking in the buttermilk. So here's what we do. We drain off most of the buttermilk and just drop them in. And once they're all coated and lovely, we'll drop these guys in in a second. But once they're covered, we'll leave them and address our chicken pate. Little oil down, and then our chicken. Hello, buddy. Gentle pressure. Oh, that makes me so happy. Now there's no binder, there's nothing keeping it together. So if it starts to separate a little bit, it starts to separate a little bit. Is that the worst thing in the world, Max? No. Thank you, of course it isn't. Our oil's ready, our jalapenos are ready. Me, Max, and Chance are ready. So let's go. In they go, gently. Try not to splash yourself. And just spread them out a bit. These are only gonna take a couple minutes. And while we're waiting, let's flip our chicken. We're putting cheese on, but we're gonna wait a couple minutes. Chicken does take a bit to cook through. Jalapeno's ready and crispy and magnificent. Oh, I'm gonna love this. Look at this, look it. It's cheese time for our little friend. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a little piece of pepper jack. We're staying on spicy theme here because why the heck not? And this guy's ready, off he comes and we build. We build like this, bun down. Simple addition of some mayo and then our chicken. Oh, it's hot, oh, it's hot, damn it. And our jalapenos and the top bun, holy shit. And we bite these crispy jalapenos we've been eating. Damn it, Max about to have one. Oh my God. Right? Come on, I'm telling you, a chicken burger flies under the radar. Why would I have chicken when I can have beef? Because it's so good. And these crispy jalapenos are stupid. Shout out to the uh, brioche bun. Nailed it. Breakfast burger, now. <laughs> Our breakfast burger begins with the lid coming off and a combo of mayo and grainy moutard. That's mustard in French, and on it goes. Followed up by our beautiful, crispy, gorgeous hash brown, our sausage patty, and our egg, and our lid. Hello, fellas. I mean, hello, fella. And our final one, the red pepper pesto. Starts like this. It starts with a beautiful little swipe pesto on the bottom of the bun. And damn, pesto honestly is one of my favorite things. And our patty with the provolone. I think this is the simplest one, but this is gonna be the biggest flavor bomb. And then this, remember this sauteed red pepper biz? Oh yeah, and it looks amazing. And this kid goes like that. Now that's a burger. Couldn't think of a better way to end a day like this than double fisting our last two burgers. This kid, the breakfast one with the flat egg, the sausage, the homemade hash brown, the homemade brioche. And over here, the pesto, red pepper, mayo, mozzarella. Mozzarella. I'm going breakfast first. Mm. The mustard's a great add, but that crispy hash brown in here, everything, everything. And now this friend. Look how beautiful that is. Got red pepper mayo with a little smoked paprika. Damn it. Four epic burgers, each under $5. You could do this. You should do this. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, because if you haven't and you do subscribe, we're giving one of those knives away every video this year. Just gotta be a subscriber and then Watch and listen, because hopefully you'll see your name.